Samsung creates its own displays, which they utilize for their own products and also sell to other businesses like Apple. Every year, Samsung reserves the greatest displays for its Ultra phones while giving away outdated displays with last year's technology. But this year, things changed since the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a better display than the S23 Ultra. We don't sure why they did it, but hopefully they won't do it again with the S24 Ultra. According to South Korean media, Samsung will adopt a 13th generation AMOLED screen known as the M13 for the S24 Ultra and all S24 versions. The new display screen is slimmer, more energy efficient, and produces better images. Interestingly, the iPhone 15 Ultra will feature 12th generation OLED screens, or M12, much as Samsung's newest foldables, the Z Fold 5 and Flip 5. The M13 panels could not appear in Apple's devices until the iPhone 16. Recently, we learned that Samsung will keep the S24 Ultra's 3x telephoto lens, but it will become considerably better. At the time, information was sparse, but now, we are fully aware of the improvements made by the telephoto lens. According to ICE Universe, Samsung will deploy a brand new 50MP telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom. In comparison to the S23 Ultra, which features a 10MP telephoto camera that is five times the resolution. This new camera will also feature a larger sensor, which means that in addition to having detailed images and movies with a 3x zoom both during the day and at night, you'll also notice a considerable improvement in the intermediate zoom levels, which are anywhere between 3x and 10x. It's about time, I would think, considering zoom cameras have essentially stayed unchanged since the S21 Ultra. The RAM and storage increases are also mentioned in the South Korean story, which verifies earlier claims. It states that Samsung will sell the S24 Ultra in two RAM configurations, 12GB and a hefty 16GB. While the S24 and S24 Plus will also be available in two RAM options, 8GB and 12GB. Additionally, it states that the business intends to raise the standard capacity for all models to 256 gigabytes. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.